हेलो फ्रेंड्स अ वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग टू एवरीवन दिस इज शिखर सो इन कंटिन्यूएशन विद माय प्रीवियस सेशन दैट इज डबल शूटिंग ऑफ बूट प्रॉब्लम्स सो वी विल कवर फ्यू मोर एस्पेक्ट्स इन दिस सेशन एंड विल फिनिश ऑफ द डबल शूटिंग पार्ट सो एज ऑफ नाउ वी हैड डिस्कस्ड वॉट ऑल द प्रॉब्लम्स दैट कम्स वैन द सिस्टम इज कमिंग अप एंड हाउ टू डबल शूट दोज प्रॉब्लम्स so we are going to cover few more problems suppose uh, my mbr got corrupted master boot record i am just opening what all we have discussed see this any tram fs is missing we have already discussed grub dot con file is missing we have already discussed third is slash bin mount is missing and mbr is wiped out so i am going to discuss first this suppose my mbr got missing what is mbr mbr basically it's a master boot record and when it comes into picture when the system is coming up that is very more important one should know like you know when at what phase this mbr comes into picture when system coming up see when the system coming up power up reset button cpu jumps to the address of bios bios everybody knows two functionalities few functionalities like post power on self test and uh, it finds the bootable device your booting disk and bios always you know reads the first sector of your chosen boot media okay the first sector that is of 512 bytes of the hard disk this 512 bytes first sector is called mbr okay mbr is always in the first sector of your bootable device and it contains the primary bootloader okay there are two phases of bootloader if you will see my session on uh, booting process you will get a clear picture about uh, how the system comes up what all the phases of booting so now what we are going to do here we are just going to wipe out our 512 bytes okay so if what will happen if we wiped out your mbr the system comes up it will goes to the bios from where from bios it will you know try to you know execute your mbr but mbr is already wiped out okay so nothing will come out you will you will boot your system no nothing will come out blank screen so first of all i am going to you know tell you how to wipe out your bios okay so it's very simple uh there is a command dd okay i am just doing this dev zero and uh, my bootable first of all i should know what is my bootable disk my os disk i am talking about this is sda okay so the command is dd if is equal to dev zero if is for input of is for output output is my dev so guys i'm just wiped wiping out my mbr i'm just removing my mbr that's all and what would be the consequence consequences i will show you i'm just wiping out my 5 256 bytes and count is one so what will happen
so here we can see I have just wiped out my 256 bytes and the count is 1 it means single time it will run if I if I am going to use this 2 so it what would what it will do it will just remove it will just wiped out your uh, 256 byte then again it will do twice time the same thing so all, all in all it will wiped out 512 bytes okay so let's see what will happen let me reboot my box let me come into the console let me remove my bootable disk ok I have disconnected the CD drive let's see what is happening you can see It is trying to you know boot with this network because you know BIOS BIOS is having the information of your bootable disk, your OS disk, and when it tries to hit to the MBR, but MBR is already removed from the disk. So your system doesn't get the bootable disk, so then it moves to the next. Next is your network device. So here we comes to know that the system is not coming up to any phases of the boot like your it is not coming up to your grub prompt or your main menu prompt all those things. So in that case what we are going to do here. So we don't have any other option just to you know take your system into your rescue mode to, to boot your Linux system into rescue mode. So first of all we have to mount your CD drive okay we have to you know boot your system with the help of CD drive so I have connected my CD drive okay with my Linux server and again I have rebooted it let's see Now you can see uh, my system has booted with the help of CD drive. Now I am going to choose the rescue install system, third option. I am booting my Linux server, Linux system with the help of CD drive. It will take some time. Rescue mode is basically, you know, it's just for the troubleshooting purpose. If your system is not coming up, your critical files, are, you know, has been removed from the system. You don't have any options to boot your system. In that case, you can take your system in rescue mode. See, few information is asking what type of keyboard you want to have. You know, see what media, what type of media contains the rescue image. Obviously, CD drive. Do you want to start the network interfaces? I'm saying no. You can use yes as well. Continue. Okay. 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 Now you can see my system has been has my system has come up now with the help of CD drive. Now what I'm going to do here I'm just trying to you know require my MBR so there are, there are few ways we can you know require our, our MBR ch root mnt sys image ok and uh, after that there is a command uh, 
grab install and simple my this dev sta now you can see installation finished no errors reported this is the contents of the device map okay this is the one way okay now my ambr has been you know recovered there is one one more way you can you know recover your ambr simply just type grub now you are at the grub prompt okay here you have to type root st0 colon 0 okay this 0 colon 0 tells your first partition that is your slash boot and if i am typing this root st Zero colon one. Then it will take me to second partition. That is your root. Okay. Uh, so the simple command is set up st zero. That's all. Succeeded. Good. So there are two ways to you know recover your MBR. Reboot. now i can try to reboot my system from local device now you can see my system is coming up i have recovered my i have recovered my mbr this is covered and first or second we have already covered in our first sessions this is very important very very important suppose my bin mount binary is missing so what will happen obviously root file system won't able to mount and uh, all your mod modules will not be available and uh, your system won't able to come up if your bin mount binary is missing so how to recover your critical files like uh, my bin mount is missing my init tab is missing so let's see how to troubleshoot this it will take some time okay so guys uh, uh, it will take some time so we will cover this uh, all those left things in the next sessions okay like this one we will cover in third session this one and this one okay hope you have enjoyed this session and learned something thanks thanks for your time guys keep watch me